Hello and welcome to this video. This is Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, I'm going to be going through how you can add a viewer counter on screen on your streams. The viewer counters are really, really simple to set up and it just gives people an indication without having to scroll through Twitch or YouTube or whatever to see what the viewer count is. It's actually on screen. The more likely purpose of this is that you may want that to appear on the VODs. Uh, so once your stream is finished, you may actually want it so that the viewership count is visible. For instance, if you got like a really, really huge raid, uh, it would show how the raid affected the view counters. But even still, some people might appreciate having some knowledge of how many viewers are watching without having to scroll and look around for that or, or for instance, touch the screen for that information. And also, to be honest, it looks, it looks quite nice as well. But again, as with all things, this is a completely personal preference. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate it if you can thumbs up the video because it does increase the visibility of the video if you want to see more of these types of videos i've done loads and loads and loads of tutorial videos around these i bring out videos every single week um, for stream labs and for streaming uh, for stream decks and all sorts of stuff like that uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel i'd really appreciate that i do stream daily at twitch.tv forward slash machine dana feel free to give me a, a little look as well without further ado let's get into it adding a follow account to your stream now first things first this does work on any of the platforms the, the key platforms twitch youtube and, and well mix is now defunct i would assume that streamlabs are working on having a facebook version of the same thing but you don't have to use any particular streaming software to be able to enable this it'll work on most uh, most of the streaming softwares like stream elements xsplit uh, streamlabs obs obs and so on you can have it as a widget url and in that case it's added as a browser source to your stream uh, you would copy the link once it's once you've finished all the settings you would copy the link and then add that as a browser source which i'll show you how to do later in the video if you're doing this from streamlabs obs streamlabs obs has the widgets built into the usability of the software so you don't necessarily have to go in here to add it uh, but i still find that it's best to do it on here and then add it through the software as well. I'll, I'll show both versions in this video. All it is, all we're doing in this video is showing a view count, which is an icon, and then the view count. Uh, what you need to do here, so ignore the background color. You can add a background color if you want to. Um, just say a hex call for the widget background. This is for preview purposes only and will not show up in your streaming software. You can choose the font of, of this here. You may have a particular font that you use on your stream uh, or, or just a personal preference. Me personally, uh, I, I tend to use one called Orbitron. If it's there, it may not be. <laughs> It is, yeah. So I use one called Orbitron, which I just think is quite a, a cool one. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use Twitch because uh, I stream on, on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash machine data. Can now adjust the font size. It's kind of it's a little bit irrelevant the font size really, because you can resize the source once it's on your stream. So I mean set it to whatever you want, but it, it really doesn't 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 make a difference. You then choose the font weight. So this is just how thick the font is. So you can see there it goes really thin. Take it to that it goes really thick. Again, just personal preferences, but it's good that you've got those settings that you can add. You can change the text color. Um, I, I quite like purple or pink color. Uh, I think that's pretty cool, uh, but I'm actually not going to do that because I don't like it. I'm going to leave it white. <laughs> you need to balance here design uh, in line with your stream versus the contrast because it's no point in having the view count if it's not there's not enough contrast to actually see the number there. You just got to be careful that when you're designing this, uh, bear that in mind because obviously you can set the text color. You can use here a hex value as well if you wanted just by adding the hex value in here and then also you do get the option to add some custom css javascript or html using these functions here so there's a specific design uh, or a specific animation that you want to have this is exactly where you would add all of that now that i've got those settings i can copy the url there if i want to add it as a browser source that's one way of doing it and make sure you keep this url uh, private because that's got some uh, key information personal information within the url now all we need to do is go to streamlabs obs or your preferred streaming software and either add this as a browser source if it's not streamlabs obs or add it as a widget if it's uh, streamlabs obs now I'm going to demonstrate here using Streamlabs OBS, but this can apply to uh, to normal OBS, uh, OBS Studio, to Twitch uh, Studio. It can apply to XSplit. It can apply to all different softwares as long as you're adding it as a browser source. So there are two options here. If you're using Streamlabs OBS, you can add it as an option using the plus button here. The way that you do this is click on the view account under the widgets section. And what this does is it 
because you're in Streamlabs and you're using a Streamlabs online widget, it actually pulls in all of the settings. So we'll just add this as a uh, widget. It does. It's pulled it in here. We can see that the sort. You can just about see the sources here in the bottom left hand side. So now we've got all the settings. So what what this does because it's natively integrated with the online widgets streamlabs obs has pulled in all of the fields here via an api and webhook so that you can edit the font and the colors and the font sizes and the source information here so once you've done the online settings you can then edit them and tweak them within streamlabs obs actually you don't even need to do it online first uh, you can simply go straight into Streamlabs and click on that as a widget, but it just gives you an online option if you wanted to sort of distinctly separate the two. Once I've done that, I can click OK, and this is literally there now. Uh, I can now use this follow count and, and I can put it anywhere I, I like, for instance, above the camera. So the thing to notice here, because I resized that quite considerably higher than what it was set at, the font size is, um, it did pixelate there uh, because I resized it. It's always best to try and get the font size right rather than to put it at any size and then resize it because you do get that pixelation if you don't try and match the font size um, naturally uh, to, to where you want it to be and that will now work because that's integrated through Streamlabs, Streamlabs OBS and then it integrates into your stream so for example Twitch in this case or YouTube that will then perpetually update the viewing stats for your stream as you go along. I'm not sure what the actual interval is for this it might be like 10 or 20 seconds it updates but I don't think it's going to be any worse than 30 to 60 seconds. And again, you can redesign it, size it, you can move it around. Uh, and at any point, you can change the widget settings. If we want to add this as a browser source, say, for example, if you're not using Streamlabs OBS, you simply, you would click to add a new browser source. You would name the source, uh, let's say, for example, external um, OBS source. Add the source. Uh, it will by default more than likely place a placeholder URL with an image. We don't want that. We want to paste in the counter um, browser source URL that we copied earlier in the video. You can make some changes here to the sizing and so on, but there's nowhere near as much flexibility here as you would have had if you're using Streamlabs OBS and Streamlabs Online. Uh, make sure that you keep the widget URL code uh, covered up because that's that, that stream key is, is default to you and, and sensitive information. Click done on that and we've now got the, the source here as well so you can see that and again we can resize that if we want to let's say we want to place this within the camera just like that so there are multiple ways that you could do that uh, and it's dead easy to do no matter whether you're using streamlabs obs or or not if you found this useful thumbs up if you want to subscribe feel free to and have a lovely day take care